गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर दीपांजन हल्दर कंसल्टेंट हेमेटोलॉजी हेमेटो ऑनकोलॉजी एंड बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांटेशन आई एम वर्किंग विद एज अ फुल टाइम एंड कंसल्टेंट विद वोकार हॉस्पिटल नॉर्थ बॉम्बे सिंस द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन आई एम हैविंग मोर देन टेन ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ हेमेटोलॉजी हेमेटो ऑनकोलॉजी एंड बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांटेशन टूडे आई एल बी स्पीकिंग टू अवर थैलेसिमिया सो टू बिगिन विथ वाट इज थैलेसिमिया थैलेसिमिया इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ जेनेटिक डिजॉर्डर्स विच इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय डिक्रीज और एबसेंट हिमोग्लोबिन फॉर्मेशन इन द ब्लड because of some genetic problem so our hemoglobin molecule is formed of two uh, genetic chains alpha hemo alpha chain and beta chain so depending on the disorder it can be either alpha thalassemia or beta thalassemia uh, what are the severities of thalassemia and how do thalassemia patients present again uh, based on the severity this disease is classified as thalassemia minor in which the patient can be completely asymptomatic and just on routine complete blood count we see that the patient is having anemia or thalassemia major in which the patient is symptomatic right from the childhood what are the symptoms these patients have these patients have extremely low hemoglobin levels because of which the mother might notice that the baby is looking quite pale the child might have growth retardation and the baby becomes transfusion dependent quite early in the age for example the baby will be dependent on blood transfusion either from uh, one year of age or even less than one year of age in certain uh, cases so what is thalassemia intermedia it is it uh, presents with symptoms in between thalassemia minor and thalassemia major so these patients are otherwise asymptomatic but they need blood transfusion during period of stress during pregnancy during fever so on and so forth how do we treat thalassemia so the essence of treatment of thalassemia is basically threefold number one is blood transfusion number two is iron chelation or removal of excess of iron from the body of the patients which accumulates in their body because of blood transfusion and number 3 is other supportive treatment which basically means supporting these patients with hormonal therapy and other uh, therapies so that their growth does not become retarded uh, so this was all about supportive treatment of thalassemia but how do we cure thalassemia patients the only curative uh, treatment for thalassemia so far is bone marrow transplantation Uh, in bone marrow transplantation what we do is we obtain a match donor for the patient which can be from his or her own family or uh, donor registries available across the world so once uh, the uh, we ma- obtain the match donor for the patient we give the patient very high dose chemotherapy which kind of destroys the patient's marrow and we infuse the patient stem cells obtained from the donor so once these stem cells uh, we infuse it into the blood these stem cells go and move into the patient's bone marrow and start making normal blood that is normal hemoglobin wbc and platelet and the patient becomes disease free at this stage so uh, this is explaining bone marrow transplantation quite simply but actually the process is quite complicated once we give the patient high dose chemotherapy it kind of destroys the patient's bone marrow completely and the patients become quite immunosuppressed during this time so we need a uh, special rooms that is hepa filter room with uh, laminar flow which we have in our setup to keep the patient infection free during this period we also keep the patient supported with blood products during this period uh, for bone marrow transplantation the patient needs to stay in our hospital for approximately 3 to 4 weeks and once the patient's uh, blood counts recover we discharge the patient and then follow up the patient on opd basis for another 2 3 weeks subsequently the patient can return back to his or her own country and then we keep track of the patient through video conferencing and we keep a track of the patient's reports to the email so this was about bone marrow transplantation for thalassemia for other queries regarding thalassemia or treatment of uh, thalassemia through bone marrow transplantation or other modalities you can log on to www.vocardhospitals.com and send us your queries we'll be more than happy to help you thank you